This is Matthew Cratter from Trader University, and today I want to talk about how Unstoppable DeFi just got stopped. We've been talking about DeFi or decentralized finance in a few videos over the last few weeks, talking about how it is built on a fairly centralized system, which is Ethereum. I'll link to both these videos below, as well as some of the other dirty secrets of DeFi. We really had a, a big revelation in the last 24 hours, and I want to go into that now. It has to do with the Uniswap protocol, which is built on top of Ethereum and is one of the main protocols in DeFi. In order to understand this, we have to review what an exchange is. So we have the NASDAQ exchange where people buy and sell stocks. This is where buyers and sellers congregate and they cross their orders at a price that's mutually agreed upon. So we have the NASDAQ, we have the New York Stock Exchange. If you've ever traded stocks, you're aware of these centralized exchanges, which are highly regulated and highly centralized. They have their own computers. They cross everything. They cross the buy and sell orders on their computers. Now, one of the innovations that's been built on top of Ethereum as part of DeFi is a protocol called Uniswap. You can see here their homepage, Decentralized Trading Protocol. This is an example, or it's it's sold as an example of a unstoppable decentralized exchange. So the NASDAQ, the, the New York Stock Exchange are centralized exchanges. This is a decentralized exchange, supposedly. You'll often hear this term DEX, short for decentralized exchange. Ethereans like to talk about this. Here's Ryan Sean Adams talking about how uh, Bitcoin can just be shut down by uh, stopping a few exchanges. At Uniswap on Ethereum is unstoppable, supposedly. Well, something different happened in the last few days. Gary Gensler, head of the SEC, issued a warning saying that if you are running a protocol and you're trading synthetic versions of stocks or other regulated securities, that you could be uh, that you could be uh, attacked by the SEC and they could bring an enforcement action against you. So what happens? Just uh, a couple days later, Uniswap decides to restrict access to all of these tokens, especially these equity tokens that the SEC is looking at. We can see here that they've removed um, their synthetic inverse synth uh, tokens, option tokens, mirror tokens, gold tokens, etc. And what they're basically doing is giving in to the SEC. This is interesting for something that is completely decentralized and unstoppable. We have the regulators come out and just a few days later, the folks at Uniswap Labs who try to distinguish themselves from the protocol itself decide to limit access to a bunch of their tokens or in order to make the SEC happy. Now, this isn't a surprise if you've been watching my video. Uniswap is a centralized organization. In fact, they have a headquarters in Brooklyn. That doesn't sound very decentralized to me. And so the SEC, and it looks like they have one to 10, one to 10 employees, which is actually impressive how little that is. Uh, but this is, this is if you want to shut down DeFi, if you want to shut down Uniswap, if you want to apply pressure to them, they have an address in Brooklyn. They have people who work there. And so we see that supposedly unstoppable uh, DeFi here has been stopped, at least for these uh, for these equity tokens. Now this means, uh, this has interesting implications for what are called governance tokens. So one of the things Uniswap did, of course, to make more money for themselves to sell these things, is they did, they issued an ERC-20 token. That just means it was built on the Ethereum network, a governance token called Uni. This was issued by, uh, by Uniswap. And what it does, uh, we can see from this this uh, description on their own website, it enables shared community ownership and a vibrant, diverse, and dedicated governance system. So these are governance tokens, and if you buy these, you get to vote and have input on how, how the protocol works and what changes are made, etc. Now, if I owned these uni tokens, I would be dumping them as fast as I could. Not that I've ever owned any of these DeFi protocols, the problem is, what is your governance token worth if the actual parent company, if Uniswap Labs, whenever they hear some rumblings from the SEC, they do exactly what the SEC wants? That would appear to give the lie to these uni tokens. The real governance of the system, the really top-down governance, is the people who just issued uh, issued this tweet, Uniswap Labs, saying that we've restricted 
access to tokens. As such, these governance tokens, they really should be trading at zero. You have no real power. It's just a simulacrum of power and pretending that you can make these changes, uh, whereas you cannot. You could always be over uh, overridden by Uniswap based in Brooklyn with employees. This should be another wake-up call to those of you who are in DeFi. DeFi is an interesting space. Uniswap is an interesting protocol, but unfortunately, it's built on a foundation of sand. It's built on Ethereum. It can easily be manipulated by regulators. The original DeFi is Bitcoin. What's called DeFi right now, DeFi built on Ethereum, is not decentralized, as we can see from today's changes to the Uniswap uh, marketplace. Only Bitcoin is truly decentralized finance, is true DeFi. If you found this video helpful, be sure to hit that subscribe and like button. Hit the notification bell if you want to be notified when I publish my next video. And let me know your questions and comments in the comment section below. Thanks a lot for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.